hello everyone and welcome to this video is Leonard here from detailena.com and in today's video tutorial we are going to look at the metafishers um, trading settings all right and how you can use them to your advantage okay so if you are new to the channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trend investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you do like um, you know this video do give it a thumbs up all right so with that being said in case you don't know already meta features is a bot okay a trading bot that you can use to automate your crypto trading specifically features okay on binance exchange all right so if you love features trading you want to be making money whether crypto is going up or down all right on your binance account then meta features is that bot that will enable you to do that all right it is both for beginners for newbies who don't know anything in the crypto uh, space you can equally use it and for experienced okay traders in the crypto space already you can equally use the meta features board to save yourself you know from always losing on you know um, the market all right so if you don't have an account already link will be in the video description to sign up for an account and then if you want to learn more about this you can equally join my telegram group using the link in the video description okay and um if you don't have a binance account you need a binance account actually to use the meta features equally use the link in the video description to sign up for an account okay so with that being said i published the video um i published a video okay um previously on the settings okay but that video um that the settings i did on that video is if i come in here to the menu all right i did that video checking this off okay i checked this off most especially this edge mode board all right when you check this on the settings you will have is different okay slightly different from when this is checked on okay so let me um quickly show you that so if i close this and then to assess the meta feature settings okay um you come in here to your list of coins okay this first option here down all right so if i go ahead and click on it it brings us to this page now i'll go ahead and click on the settings here okay so if i click on the settings at the top the setting icon at the top so if i click on it it opens up this way so because i have the edge mode turned on okay i can tweak the settings for buy i can tweak it for sell or i will tweak it for boot all right so with the edge mode turned on okay get this clearly with the edge mode turned on i have this boot but with the edge mode turned off what you will have instead of boot is auto and um let me quickly um show you that okay let me put that off and show you how that works all right so here we are with the edge mode turned off okay if i go back to that setting let me just show you what you see so i go back again to the settings and then here you can see that we have instead of boot we are having auto so we have buy we have sell and then we have auto okay so if i go ahead and click on the setting icon all right so we are doing the setting just for everything this is with the edge mode turned off with the edge mode turned off all right and here if i scroll down here you'll see that there is no reversal edge reversal um margin call limit here okay there is no edge reversal call limit here but with the edge mode turned on you have that all right so the setting that i did previously was with the edge mode turned off so the setting we are going to do in today's video is with the edge mode turned on all right all right once again so to be able to carry out these settings i will just come in here and click okay on this icon here to bring us to the list of coins we have and then the next thing is to click click on you know the setting icon so once i click on the setting icon i'll come in here all right um so the settings we have here all right so i'll just explain all of this you can go ahead and carry out the settings based on the amount you have okay so the first thing you want to note here is the leverage okay on the meta features board the highest you can go is a um, 10x leverage okay so you can slide this or use the plus um and the minus i i, I option here 
right now is on 5x leverage okay so because it is on 5x leverage if we are going to trade if our first order amount is 20 dollars which is your cost here okay if your first order amount is 20 dollars it means that since you are using 5x leverage you can be trading up to five times that amount of money you have okay and then if you make profit that profit is calculated on 100 dollars let's say you make one percent of the market move two percent three percent that three percent all of those percentage are calculated based on the amount okay you are borrowing to trade because we are using leverage okay so after setting up your leverage the next thing is to set up the amount all right and then the next thing you or this is automatically calculated okay so if we go to the next option here which is the trade settings okay remember the settings we are doing is with the edge mode turned on okay and um, as i pointed out before with the edge mode turned off you don't have this edge reversal direction trigger okay and then the edge reversal reverse uh, um, trigger foa you don't have all of this okay but with the edge mode turn on you have access to this and i will explain all of them all right so here on the trade settings okay we have number of circles now if i go ahead and trade a particular coin what this number of circles simply means is how long okay how how many times do you want to circle that market let's say we are on a bullish run okay and then maybe we'll set our percentage uh, our take profit at 10 percent okay roe once the market hit 10 percent roe if the market continues to go up the board will automatically take another trade that is what the margin call is all about okay the margin call helps you stay in the market okay and and continue when you make profit okay when the first one sells and make profit for you when it sees another opportunity it takes the trade again all right and when he's your target it takes profit for you so how many times do you want to do that okay you go ahead and select the number of circles here okay the fact that you put the circle here doesn't mean that when you start trading automatically it will be checked i will show you how to enable the circle mode okay so after that you need to configure the circle okay so if we click on the circle configuration so it brings us here all right so what you need to do now on the circle configuration is for the first circle okay since we choose five circles okay you have circle one two three to five all right for the first circle how many what what is the amount you want to buy for the first time okay you add the foa here the same thing to this one the same thing to this one the same thing to this one and after that you click on confirm okay so um that is how you configure the foa okay so once you are done configuring the of um the the circle okay the circle configuration once you are done with that the next one is the trade start callback trade start callback means that what are you saying if you place a trade let's say you want to long or short the market the trade does not go into the market immediately okay um if you put it at zero then the trade will be triggered immediately but if you go ahead and put let's say 0 0.2 what you are simply saying is that the market needs to move by one percent roe before your trade is triggered okay that is what this um trade start callback is all about all right and then the next one is the trade reject callback if i place a trade and it doesn't move by this one percent roe and then all of a sudden it start moving down if it gets to 2.5 percent roe what you're saying is that the trade should be cancelled okay the bot should not take that trade okay so the numbers you put here determines what you see here as the roe okay so if i go ahead and remove the 0 0.5 and put in one percent for instance okay you see that you're saying that if the market moves down against you whenever you place a trade if it is of going in your favor and it's not going against you and it goes down or up by five percent roe the trade should automatically cancel all right so the next one now okay which is um some of the features that are available on the with the edge mode turn on okay is the edge reversal direction trigger all right um let's say we enter a trade with decided to long the market and then um all of a sudden the market start going against us okay so how this work is if i go ahead and put five percent here okay the five percent what i'm simply saying is that if this market goes 
a gain source okay by 25 percent roe the board will automatically open another position let's say we decided to long the market the next position it will open now in a reversal mode will be the short position it will short the market all right it doesn't mean that the long position will be closed the long position will still be there but shorting the market it uses it that is what edging is all about in you know in trading so shorting the market is that it can be using this to be securing profit for you okay why the other one covers the margin and the rest it can be using this to secure profit for you and when this sells when the market start reversing back it can the, the previous one can now enter in profit and you gain about that okay and then the edge um the edge reverse trigger f o a okay um preferably just use one you don't need to use more than one always use one here all right always make sure you use one there and then for btc callback now this works the same as this uh trade start callback okay it works the same as trade start callback so since i use trade start callback i don't normally put anything on btc callback if you put for instance you put 100 200 yeah what you're simply saying is that the trade you are going to place will wait until btc moves either up or down by the amount you put in here if it is hundred dollars and then you are shorting the market btc need to decrease by hundred dollars before the trade will be triggered okay if it is two hundred dollars and you are long in the market then btc need to increase by two hundred dollars before your trade will be triggered all right but normally i leave this at zero and then use the first option okay so if we scroll down to the trade settings okay um this is where you can put your stop loss let's say the market start going against you at what point will you want the trade okay the bot automatically close that for you instead of just losing money completely you go ahead and put that all right um, um i don't put anything here okay you can go ahead and use your discretion to do this okay and then for the trailing stop loss i always use auto if you don't use auto if you use custom it means that whenever you place the trade okay when the trade is in profit you can go ahead and manually set the trailing stop loss now what trailing um stop loss is all about on the binance exchange it helps you to secure your to profit profit in the market okay if you um then we let's say we have a target of take profit okay and then when he hits that target of take profit and the market continue to go in our favor the trailing stop what it does is that it will be activated and continue to be moving you know your profit with you all right it continues to adjust your profit and and you know the stop loss alongside okay so that when the market now drops okay instead of losing completely it will just take profit for you so i always leave it at auto if you do it custom then you manually set it up when your trade is in in, in is placed already okay then the um trailing stop loss okay this is where when you put auto you go ahead and put the percentage you want so whenever a market moves in a favor okay by 10 percent all right um trailing stop loss will be activated all right and then we have margin call limit margin call limit okay um, margin call limit what it simply means is you trading the market under probability okay our first um purchase order or our first um foe which is our first order amount is 20 dollars okay for instance or 100 dollars now we expect that when we long the market the market should go in our favor what if it start dropping against us okay one margin call limit does is helping you to buy the dip okay it helps you to buy the dip and because the crypto market is a volatile one you cannot specifically say that okay if it is going this direction it will end that direction it will go that direction and reverses back okay for instance if i'm trading btc and then my entering price for btc is at um let's say thirty thousand. okay i long the market at thirty thousand, and then the market start going against me it goes to 29 um, for me to make profit, BTC has to trade above 30,000, all right? But with the call limit, with the margin call limit, it to get to a certain percentage, okay, where we'll go to the margin configuration. What they're simply saying is that if it goes against me to a certain percentage, you want to buy more, okay? You can decide how many times you want this margin call to go. So you want to buy more. So when you buy more, instead of 
your entering price to be at that thirty thousand. Okay, you can reduce it, you know, to um twenty nine something or thereabout. Okay, mm -hmm. that is what it simply means. So when it goes in your favor, when it now goes in your favor, when the trade now goes in your favor, instead of making profit, okay, once the margin call, let's say three of this margin call are, are, are implemented, okay, all triggered. And then we we'll have our first purchase order, our first order amount as fifty dollars. Okay, fifty dollars plus three times that should have been, you know, depending on what the configuration is. Let me go to the configuration. So if I click on the margin configuration, okay, if you are buying one time here, you calculate. So when it goes in your favor, okay, when the market goes in your favor, you're making money. So what I have here is if it draws by ten percent, okay. Uh, if the market goes against you by 10%, you want to buy one. If it goes against you by 20%, you want to buy another one. If you go against you by 30%, you want this one to be triggered. All right. So once you do this, it means that um, if it buys here 50, it buys here 50, it buys here 50. Okay. This is because I'm using one one time. If you use two two times, you calculate it by your first order amount. All right. So when the trade now goes in your pro in in in, in your favor. You make more money because the margin call has been triggered okay all right so that is for margin call limit and the configuration okay and then the next option we have here is the same direction margin call limit if the trades are going in your favor all right if the trades are going in your favor you can decide to buy more okay the bot can buy more for you and then you make a higher profit let's say i'm staking hundred dollars and I'm supposed to make a profit of uh, 500 if I'm using 5x leverage. So if it goes in my favor and I buy two times, that is an additional $1,000, for instance. Okay, um, $1,000, it means that I'll be making, um, you know, um, gain of, you know, whatever $1,000 is. Okay, um, all right, when we are using 5S leverage, $5,000, that's exactly what you'll be making profit from, okay? So once you put it, you can put any number here, all right? There are no specific numbers that you can use there, so you can put any number there. And then you go to the configuration. So on the configuration, if I click on it, um, what you're simply saying is that if the market start going in your favor by 10% ROE, you want the trade to buy one time. If it goes in your favor okay this because we use uh, the same direction as two that is why we only have two if you make it three you have more settings to make if you make it ten you have more settings here so when it goes in your favor by 25 percent you want to still buy more okay you can go ahead and use this to start you know um, profiting from the market in as much as the market is going in your favor so you don't just close immediately and leave the market all right so that is it for um, same direction, okay? Same direction, um, and then the same direction uh, um, um, configuration, okay? The next one is the whole um, position take profit. So what do you want to take as a profit? If the market moves 15%, you want to take profit, you go ahead and set it. If you put 3%, it gives you 50% a row here. So whatever number you put here, you go ahead and, you know, strategize with that, all right? So the whole position um, take profit um, call back, okay? You put it there. So if we are taking profit at fifteen percent and the market has more fifteen percent or thereabout, once it start dropping by zero um, point five, which will now be two point five uh, ROE, you want that you know trade to automatically close and take profit for you, okay? That is what that means. So and then the buy in call back will be at zero point when it, you know when it is two percent roe then the last option you have here on the trade settings is the liquidation okay so the add liquidation margin you can put any amount you want here you can use the same amount you use as your foa or put whatever you want there okay and then what when do you want this to be triggered okay to be when the market goes against you by you know 30 percent roe okay and um, the notification will be you know at four percent and so on okay because i scalp the market i don't allow you know my trade to you know stay longer in the market except when there is a major event that makes a, a, a sharp move in the market 
I don't have not experienced liquidation. Okay, so you may want to um, set up this in case of in case it is. That is a, the reason why we use all of some of these settings. So after you've done all of this setting, the next thing you need to do is just to click on confirm at the top here to save your settings. And once you save your settings, these settings are saved for all of your trade. Okay, they are saved for all of your trade. So you can now come in here and start taking trades as you want okay you can come in and start taking trades you can click on any of these trades and go ahead and take the trade so basically that is it um all i have to you know share with you in this video if you don't understand anything if there is anything you are still stuck with you can always use the comment section and as i said earlier you want to learn more you want to be you know join our weekly zoom meetings then join the community by click using the link in the video description to join my telegram group and i'll see you guys in the next video